Thank you, Soul Crate. Let's give him one more round of applause. Uh, just a personal note, Soul Crate is from a really special town in my heart, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. There we go, that's my hometown. So I had like one power move with this event and they are it. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, how's everybody feeling? Good. Can you hear me? Okay, there was some concern because I'm kind of tall and away from these microphones. Kind of, anyway, um, we are uh, going to do a relatively quick closing session uh, here. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up three people that we selected to offer their reflections on this day. Uh, we are all feeling something awesome but different in our own unique ways. And just thought it'd be a great way to kind of end things or get closer to the end of things uh, by having three people come up and, and offer their reflections on the day. Uh, and maybe there's something that we see in their experience that really speaks to our experience. So I'm going to ask to come up here uh, right now, Malcolm Chapman from Rapid City, South Dakota. <laughs> Natalie Crowley from Duluth, Minnesota. and Prairie Rose Seminole from Newtown, North Dakota. All right, Malcolm. Dominic, thank you. Good afternoon. As Dominic said, I'm Malcolm Chapman from Rapid City, South Dakota, by the way, of the south side of Chicago, and I'm happy to be here. I was not at BushCon 14, but I'm really fortunate to be here at BushCon 15, and I'm proud to be a Bush Fellow for 2015, so I say congratulations to, to that cohort, and I'm looking forward to working with each of the fellows from this year as well, and congratulations. Um, I had zero expectations when I got here today. I didn't know what to expect. I really came with a blank slate to think about just allowing whatever happened to happen. And to me, that it was really about connections, and it was about organically bumping into people. And I thank the Bush Foundation for creating that container where that could happen today. So from the opening session with Jen and Deshaun and Cameron, and I went to hear Sarah Deer, and then Tycho with the drumming, 
And then we just left Jugard Innovation, which was pretty amazing and pretty cool to be thinking outside of the box. Uh, and then to all the conversations that happened over lunch. So I didn't know what to expect. And I don't think that that's anything special to come to a, an event, not a conference, but come to an event where you have no expectations and you know what to expect. So the easiest way that I thought that I could do that today was to really say that when I got here today, this is what I thought I'd get. Zero. But if you look beneath the lines a little bit and you actually start to pay attention to what's happening, you notice that there is something there. <laughs> and there is something there. And then what really happened to me today, and I think what happened to a number of us today, is that by connecting and bumping into people, that that's the real magic <laughs> that happened <laughs> with BushCon. So thank you. I say thank you to the Bush Foundation, but more importantly, I think I say thank you to Archibald and Edith Bush. So thank you. So I am Natalie Crowley from the great white north of uh, Duluth, Minnesota, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I do have to say that it's been probably 20 years since I've been on the thrust stage at the Guthrie. Of course, it wasn't here. It was way over by the walker. But uh, so I'm really excited. I told my girlfriend that I was going to be up on the stage, and she didn't believe me. So I'm going to take a selfie up here with you guys. <laughs> and since I am theater geeking out, um, on the count of three, I all want you to say, may the fourth be with you, since it is May the fourth. All right. So. See if my theater voice works still. All right. One, two, three. May the force be with you. Awesome. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I came in the same way with having no real expectations of what I was going to have. I, I, you know, you get kind of bored of the stuffy conferences where you're sitting for eight hours, bored out of your mind. And uh, being up and about in several of my uh, sessions was great. And actually having that time to, to meet people, to actually sit down and talk with people. I have cards from several people who I'm definitely going to be contacting in the next few weeks um, to get some more information. Jennifer Houston is out there somewhere. And I've, oh, there she is. Yay. Um, and uh, so I'll definitely be getting in contact with people uh, that I've met here. I'm super, super excited about that. I'm also excited about learning more about how to have these conversations, how to be a better leader. I think having that focus on leadership from my first session, where we were talking about our kind of own personal stories and how we can kind of craft those and use those uh, in uh, different ways to all the way to my my last session where we got to do arts and crafts um, and uh, uh, Show how we can use kind of the design theory um, To work with things in our nonprofit sector So I'm I'm super excited to bring all this fun stuff back up to Duluth and surprise you all some other time with all the fun stuff We've been doing so Thank you all for being here and networking with us. Thanks. For Minnesota, <laughs> for those in the north. Uh, for everybody else, hello. My name is Prairie Rose Seminole. I come from North Dakota. Uh, I live in Newtown on the Fort Berthold Reservation uh, via Fargo. So Fargo peeps, please take a pic so my mom can see me on stage. <laughs> uh, today, I I'm, I'm, was very excited to come to the second uh, BushCon event. I was at the first, but I'm not really good at rules and order, so I didn't attend the workshops I was assigned to, which meant I was kind of... <laughs> <laughs> this was last year, it was last year. So it meant that I was kind of kicked out of a few. Where's Jamie Pinkham at? We were kicked out together, so... Um, uh, I know, Jamie, Jamie. It's, I'm blaming him, my elder, I listened to him. And... Uh, 
So this year, I, I made sure that I was coming, and I made sure that I was attending and participating in each of these workshops, because there's so many phenomenal people. Everybody had a good time, right? Yes? Yeah? So big thank you to the Bush Foundation. I'm a 2014 Native Nations Rebuilder, and there's quite a few of us rebuilders here. And one of the biggest takeaways from being a rebuilder and being here at BushCon are these connections, are these networks, and that authorization to each and every one of us that we are a part of an ecosystem that is about thriving and is about diversity, celebrating diversity and celebrating who we are because there's room for all of us. And the sessions I attended today were all around crafting our story and amplifying our own voices but also creating not only that shared space, but that shared experience, those shared stories, a shared history, because those shared stories really allow each and every one of us to have that support system and that network, however far and in between we are, that network of supportive individuals who are uh, cheering us on. Where I am, it's kind of isolating and lonely. So when I come to events like this, it's a rejuvenation, it's revitalization of that spirit, of that soul who says, yeah, we're doing some good work. So follow your desires and those desire lines. I learned that from my first session. He said, uh, follow the desire lines, you know, where the cows go. <laughs> but what he meant to say, or what I understood him to say, I should say, <laughs> is, when we're creating that space, what do people want to use that space for? Because a lot of the time, we're in a space of not of our own choosing, not of our own creation. And so when we can create that space and make it our own, we're, we're all about thriving. And understanding the power of who we are and what we do in creating that shared story and our own story, it starts with our own story. Uh, the power of storytelling is the power to change lives. And just to reiterate, shared experience creates that support around the idea of community building. And this is where we make meaning and convey the importance of our work and our passions. So thanks again, Dominic, for inviting me and all of our Bush uh, Foundation and partners who created this event. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, so are you guys feeling inspired? Are you feeling uh, equipped? All right. Are you feeling connected? Are you feeling like, now what? Where can I take this energy and place it? Yes, good. Well, to help answer that question, I'm going to invite two people up to the stage. Uh, they are the co-directors of Pollen. Uh, yeah, big fans. Uh, Megan Murphy, and uh, coming, her triumphant return from maternity leave today, uh, Jamie Millard. Hello. Hi. I am actually uh, Tina Fey. And I'm Amy Poehler. <laughs> Welcome to the 78th Annual Golden Globe Awards. Actually, that's, uh, nope. that's, not, that's not true. Nope. Not. This, uh, this is a thing that we like to do. We like to pretend that we are Tina and Amy. So just close your eyes, pretend we are Tina and Amy, and it'll make us feel a lot less nervous. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Actually, uh, I am uh, Megan Murphy. And I'm Jamie Millard. And we are the co-directors of Pollen. Pollen is a digital platform that exists to plug people into their community. We tell stories of local leaders, we link people with opportunity, and we host events where truly essential conversations happen. And we are here today to bring a little bit of that Pollen magic to Bush Connect. We know that during an event like BushCon, you make many, many, many connections, and that your brain is packed with inspiration. You're feeling just about ready for anything. But you know what? No matter how inspiring an event like today can be, the same thing always happens. 
tomorrow happens. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we go back to our regular lives. Ooh. So how do we keep inspired? How do we keep this feeling of possibility alive? How do we take our inspiration and tip it into action? We decide we want you to plug in to your community. So we put out a call to 250 leaders from across the region to discover the most valuable opportunities for engagement in your community. The result is a guide to 150 plus resources that will help you build from the energy and connections from today. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can you get your hands on this handy guide? Well, hey Megan, do you happen to have your phone on you? Well, Jamie, I do. <gasps> Look at that. Can you pull up your email? I sure can. Boop, boop. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? Look. It's a connector's guide to the region. Oh my gosh, I bet if everybody in this audience pulls out their phone and checks their email, you will also have a connector's guide to the region. That is pretty fancy. Yes, it is. So that means if you want to plug into your community, if you want to start fighting to achieve equality, if you want to start embracing your civic sense of responsibility, this list will have a resource for you. We have a challenge for you. How can you make Bush Connect more than just a one day event experience? How can you hold yourself accountable to not letting today's inspiration die with tomorrow's routine? Use this guide, get plugged into your community, and together, let's build a better connected region. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I did just check my email and it is there. So thank you very much. And just a sample of some of the wonderful artwork that accompanies that resource. And uh, this is a resource that I believe will be growing as well. So uh, if there are uh, ideas that you might not necessarily see in there, shoot them to pollen uh, because that's something I think they want to see grow. So thank you very much. Um, one of the reasons why we're able to do such cool things here like Bush Connect uh, is because we have great, great leadership uh, uh, in the person of our president, Jen Ford Reedy. Is she Jen? <laughs> Jen, let's see, everybody give a round of applause to Jen. But she's also, and we are all, also supported by a fantastic board of directors. And I'm not just saying that because they ultimately, you know, authorize the money that goes into my bank account. Um, I actually mean that. Uh, and that is led by our chair, Pam Arett. So to close out the day, I'm going to ask her to come up and say some closing words, and then Soul Crate will come back out, and then we can go uh, have a reception. Thank you very much. So as Dominic said, my name is Pam Moret, and I have the unbelievable privilege of being chair of the Bush Foundation Board, which um, is one of the most remarkable things that I've done after my, uh, yes, it's 36 years now of living in the Twin Cities. My main job is to say thank you. And so I want you to help me say thank you because we've had some people invest a lot in making today possible. And first of all, I think we ought to thank the Guthrie because they let us take over this place for two days. And they've done an amazing job of supporting us. So a huge thank you to the staff and volunteers at the Guthrie. They've been great hosts. Um, and of course, we wouldn't all be here if it weren't for 40 plus organizations across the ODAs, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, who helped recruit attendees and came up with a lot of the programming. And so if you represent one of those partner organizations, please stand up so we can say thank you. Come on. We are so grateful because of the imagination that each one of you put in on behalf of your organizations to not only get people here but have us help 
make this an amazing program. I was here last year and this year. I think both were awesome, but we learned some stuff and we're at, gonna get better and better each time we do this. I also wanna give a special thanks to a few people who really brought a lot of the individual pieces together. Um, Ryan Craning, Allison Smith, Steppenhagen, and Becky Salzman, all from the events by Lady K. Julie Cohen, formerly of the Bush Foundation and currently part of the Pollen Group. We're, uh, thank you very much, Julie. She was making it all happen. And finally, though, of course, since he helped me create this script and he didn't put his own name in it, Dominic Washington for doing a great job of leading this whole thing. So hopefully it goes without saying, but I want to just punctuate something for everybody. This is an investment in each of you. That's why we're doing this. It's in order to make sure that we are having these kinds of experiences, not just at BushCon, not just once a year, but that you're actually taking these ideas, taking this energy, taking these connections back out and helping it improve and hopefully energize, catalyze the work that you're doing across the region. That's why we're doing this. And so I want you to take that little reservoir of energy that each one of you hopefully got today, because you're all going back to something that looks a little bit like we just heard tomorrow. And there's going to be email, and there's going to be voicemail, though we don't do that very much anymore, and there's going to be text, and there's going to be stuff that's all going to pile in and kind of get in the way. And so I want to make sure that you're protecting part of that energy and those ideas to take it back because this is the whole idea so that you can put this all to work in your communities. The Bush Foundation is here to support this kind of stuff. This is what's important, is to make sure that the great people and their ideas are actually empowered across our region. And whether it's through participation in events like this, and sharing this kind of energy with people, whether it's a Bush Fellowship, a Bush Prize, Community Innovation Grant, Native Nation Rebuilder Program, Leadership Network Grants, event sponsorships. We do this for you and to help make our region better and better and better. And it's why I'm so privileged to serve on this board. So I wanna make sure that you all feel thanked for being here and that you make some little commitment for tomorrow on what you're gonna think about and do. Because we wanna make sure that you're protecting that reservoir of energy and spirit and taking it forward. And we've got a reception, so this ain't over yet. We've got this place till six o'clock and I hope that you can stay and hopefully add even a little bit more to that reservoir and take it forward for the next year. Thank you very, very much for coming.